In this Fusion Quick Tip, we're going to take a look at how we can get lines around a circular profile to intersect with the origin. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video I'm going to start a new series of quick tips, hoping to get some shorter videos that aren't hours and hours long. So I wanna talk about constraints as this is a very basic thing. However, there are some interesting points that come up when you're trying to design certain types of products. So here what we have is two circles and we've got two lines that are just free to float about. Now, sometimes when you wanna get that line to intersect the origin, you would simply come to the origin, create a reference line, we'd turn it into construction and we would make these two collinear. Well, that's a couple of extra steps, and this oftentimes clutters up the inside of your design. What I like to do is simply select the line, select the origin, and use coincident. Now, coincident will give you the exact same result. It's simply extending that line out until it hits this point. So this is a much quicker and cleaner way that you can get around creating extra construction lines. Then, if we want to simply add some dimensions, we would need a reference line, in this case a vertical line, and we'll add an angular dimension here. So this is again, a quick way that we can fully dimension our sketches by using coincident constraint. If you have any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.